Hello viewers, welcome back. So this is our 11th video as part of our power of reporting in Tally Prime. And this is part two of our stock summary techniques that we are exploring. So in this session, we will explore a couple of the right side button bar techniques that we can use to have a better grip over the inventory management for your organization. So let us go to Tally and explore the techniques related to stock summary. In the last video, we learned how to view the detail of the stock summary by pressing Alt F5. And to explore the subgroup, we also learned how we can use the Shift Enter key to view the detail of the subgroup. And we also learned that how by pressing F12 configure, we can go to this detail and enable this option, expand all level in the detail format. By doing so, we saw that we are able to see now all the item with the detail of the subgroup being exploded item and also the storage location of each of the item. So in this data, there are two go downs. One is main location, other one is raw material. Now let us come back again to the stock summary. Let us say that you want to now view the list of all the stock items irrespective of their grouping or subgroup. Can you view the list of all stock item in alphabetical order? Yes, you can do so. Again, if you see here on the right hand side button bar, we have this option called stock item wise. When you click on stock item wise, Tally will ignore the grouping and it will list all the stock items in the alphabetical order. And by default, as we understood in our previous session that the closing balance or the balance as on the last date of voucher entry will be shown in the stock summary report. We can actually drill down to each of the stock item and then view the detail. For example, let us say I select Bajaj Microwave, enter and it is going to give you the monthly breakup of the stock item that we have selected. Now let's say if you want to view the monthly statement of all the stock item again instead of going to each stock item and viewing them with the monthly breakup you can view the monthly breakup of all the stocks that are available with you by clicking on f6 monthly when you click on f6 monthly now this inward value outward value will be the aggregation or the total of all the items in stock month on month the total inward value and the total outward value. When you select a particular month and enter, you will observe that for the month of March, the total inward value of electrical domestic appliances and IT products are provided here. IT products, it doesn't have any inward outward for the month of March. Here again, you can click on stock item wise and you can view the monthly summary of all the items of inward, outward and closing balance. And let's go to the stock summary. The next option now for every business owner or the top management, it is very, very important and critical for them to see which item is giving them better margin. So there is this wonderful option, which is show profit. By clicking on show profit, you will notice that immediately tally is going to compute the consumption value and the sale value or the outward value it will take the difference between the cost or the consumption value minus your sale value the difference amount is going to be your gross profit and also it tells you what is the gross profit percentage that the company is earning on each of the product. This again is going to give you a very good insight of which item gives you better profit margin. So if you notice here, this item LG microwave is giving 59.06 percentage. Now this is a demo data. Normally you will not have such huge GP margin and the least margin item is Acer monitor, which gives you 13.04 percentage. So this is again going to be very powerful and very helpful information for any business owners. The same button now toggles itself as hide profit. So when you click on hide profit, you will get the closing balance. The next option here is the valuation option that you have. Tally has multiple valuation method that you can apply for your 
stock item so the let us quickly see what are the valuation method that tally provides when you click on valuation tally is going to provide you these valuations and by default the default valuation is always the average cost so tally's default is average cost as a user you can actually go and set up the valuation method for each of the item based on the list of valuation that tally provides we can select any of the valuation method here and see what is going to be the value of closing stock assuming that if you apply any of this valuation method like for example if we select fifo so before we select fifo let us go back here and see what is the closing stock value as per the default valuation method that is average cost so as per average cost the closing stock value of the item is 72 lakh 5709 rupees 0.41 paise so if we apply fifo obviously there has to be some difference in the value of the closing stock so we can click on valuation and select fifo and when you press enter you will observe that now the valuation is increased from 7205 as per the fifo valuation method the closing stock value is now valued at 72 lakh 51000 569.04 so this way you can do a what if analysis of the value of the closing stock that you are holding now this valuation is applied temporarily for you to view and the moment you go out and come back into the stock summary and press f5 it will always be valued at the default valuation method so this valuations what are the different valuations and how you can make use of this valuation i will cover in a separate video let's come back and the next option that we have is orders as part of inventory module tally has a order management module also where the user can raise a purchase order and keep track of the orders and the material received against those orders and the pending orders as on date the order is for purchases and also for sales which they have received the company can raise a sale order to keep track of all the orders that they have committed and the sale order pending report in tally will provide the list of items to be supplied to their customers as per the schedule so here now when we click on orders we have these options the option here the first one is net stock so that is tally is going to now give you the net stock that is going to be available considering that any purchase order pending minus the sale order now this is the basically your net stock which will tell you if you come back here this is your actual stock that you are holding as on date not considering the pending items to be received through purchase order and also the commitments that you have made for future supply if you want to analyze your closing stock considering the upcoming inward of item and upcoming outward of item what is going to be your closing stock which is basically the net stock so you can click on orders here and select net stock and when you press enter here you will have this report the net stock use due orders only now here if you say use due orders when you set it to yes whatever order is due as on date tally will consider those orders and then it will tell you what is going to be your net stock if you set this as no tally will consider all your purchase order which are due and also which is going to be due at a later date in time so if you select this as due orders only and when we press y and enter you will now observe that the closing stock quantity and the closing stock value is reduced so the net stock considering only the due orders is going to be 492 numbers but whereas when you come here and then when you say i want to see stock in hand you will observe that 535 numbers are actually in stock so this again is going to be very useful for the organization to analyze the net stock position at any given point in time again when we click on orders here if you want to view the purchase order outstanding of all the items in stock that you have we can click on purchase order outstanding again you can say due order only yes or no and let's leave this as no which means it is going to give you the list of all the order whether it is due as on date or it's going to be due at a 
later point in time so these are the items for which the purchase orders are outstanding so right from the stock summary you can quickly view these various analysis at ease by using this right hand side button bar so it says bajaj microwave seven numbers of purchase order is pending so select this and enter it is going to give you your order outstanding detail for item bajaj microwave purchase order numbers there are two purchase orders and the ordered quantity is five originally three they have received and two is still to be received from abc and company so similarly 10 numbers have been ordered five is still pending now quickly if you want to see the sale order pending for this item again on the right hand side button bar you will see this option called sale order and it is going to give you the list of sale order that is pending now here if you notice it says goods delivered but order not received which means three numbers have been delivered without the order being recorded for this prerna enterprises now in my upcoming session i will cover in detail the module of order management in tally prime where i will explain lot of information that you can assimilate and use this information for better tracking of your movement of your goods and from here now again click on orders and say stock in hand it is going to give you your stock in hand in the upcoming session we will explore more interesting techniques that we can apply for our inventory items i hope this video would have given you a fair idea of how you can use this technique to have better control over your inventory management especially the f7 button which is show profit is so powerful and so informative that as a business with this information of gp margin you can take lot of business decision to take your business to the next level by deciding on what item is going to give you better profit margin so in the upcoming videos also we will see more techniques related to stock summary report so thank you all once again for staying till the end see you all in the next session thank you very much